Good morning, friends. It is a very beautiful but sad morning here on Coyote Beach as we are starting to pack up to leave today. Semana Santa starts on Monday. That is the Holy Week for the Mexicans, and it is a supposed to be a full, like, a blown-out party packed beaches here on the Bay of Conception and the Mexican locals are already starting to arrive they are already setting up tents out here on Coyote Beach and we hear that every inch of this beach will be covered by people and tents and it's just a complete like total crazy party all week long so we are taking that as our sign to get out of here well the deed is done we are all packed up sadly sitting in the driver's seat ready to go but not really ready to go this is incredibly hard I've come back to this beach for three times i think so far yeah. this trip it's always great coming back maybe four times i don't remember but we love this place we love the bay of conception it's awesome and we had a blast and we had a great time with scott and melissa and their friends robert and kasha and all the kids so it is a sad sad time we're headed north and re re relatively quickly yeah not a long drive day today yeah we don't want to get stuck in the whole semana santa which begins grave. full speed tomorrow andres the awesome guy who manages the beach here was like yeah you guys need to get out of here <laughs> he said it in a friendly way of course but uh it's that time for us to go and we're gonna be headed north goal today is san ignacio but that shall be in another episode perhaps 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 for now we gotta go ahead and get out of Coyote Beach and get back on the one and start heading north. Sad face. Dogs are sad. Yeah, leaving the beach. Leaving the beach. This time we're not trading one beach for the next. We're trading yeah. the beach for the desert. Yeah. <sighs> so it goes. <sighs> Hey, 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 welcome back. Welcome back. We uh, we took a little, well, we always change our minds about things. Instead of heading south back to La Paz, which is what my heart told me to do, we continued on north after we left Coyote Beach, and we skipped past two of our favorite small towns, Mulahe and San Ignacio, where we thought we'd spend the night, in order to get a little bit further along the road. So we are in Guerrero Negro. I promised Lindsay some birria in Guerrero Negro, and that fell through. So we're gonna go get something else to eat. I don't really know what we're gonna go get to eat, but we're gonna go find something else to eat. Um, and then we're gonna chill out in Guerrero. Well, not in Guerrero. We're gonna go drive a little bit outside of town. There's supposed to be a place out on the water, which we haven't seen a lot of the Pacific side. So we're gonna go check out this place and camp for the night and take a deep breath and say, wow, our trip in Baja is almost over. Part two of our trip in Baja is almost over. There will be a part three sometime, God willing, who knows. But for now, we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and we'll check in shortly. We ended up getting carnitas in Guerrero Negro, which was not as good as what we were expecting to have with the birria. Yeah. And every mouth isn't moving. I'm sorry, sweet thing. I'm trying to be funny here. This is Everest. If you haven't met her yet, you haven't been watching her videos close enough. She's been with us since day one, 
on the road. Two years of life to herself. Two and a half years of life to herself on the road. And now she's got to share it with someone. Who you share it with? Where's your brother? We just say his name and usually he shows up. Where's your brother? There's brother. This is Huckleberry. He never sits still. If he's sitting still, something's wrong. He's your classic boy. He's just rough and tumble, getting into trouble, but not really a lot of trouble. Just off exploring, doing stuff, running around constantly. These are dogs. Our dogs are very important to us. They are our children. We've chosen not to have children ourselves, and they are our fur babies, quite literally. Although, Lindsay did not birth them. We picked them up in a car. Somebody else gave them to us. So we ended up having carnitas in Guerrero Negro yesterday. They were delicious. It just wasn't the birria that we had hoped for. The birria place is amazing, but it's not open all the time. And so we failed to get there when it was open. But it's not like you can Google places like in the U.S. and it'll say the open hours and all that stuff. What we did, we got carnitas and then we drove through town, ran a couple errands, filled up on a five gallon drinking water, which should get us through the last of our days here in Baja. Sad, sad, sad to say. Um, and then we got fuel, one more tank of fuel to get us to San Felipe, and then we'll get another tank of San Felipe, and then we'll get into the ridiculously high prices of fuel in the United States. After getting gas, we drove out to the Guerrero Negro Airport we left Baja California Sur, which is a sad, sad moment. That is by far our favorite of the two Baja states. Um, and then we crossed the border and we came just a little bit north of Guerrero Negro. And we're camping out near some sand dunes and um, a bay, I guess. What's it called? It's the Bay of Guerrero Negro. I mean, it's the Lagoon Guerrero Negro. Very creative. Yeah, very creative. Very creative. It's the Lagoon of Guerrero Negro. <laughs> it's, it's a lagoon that's at Guerrero Negro. So it's the Guerrero Negro Lagoon. Anyway, we're camping here. It's not a pretty place. Um, we did get a decent sunset last night, but it wasn't like, um, it wasn't even on a top, I'd say top 50. <laughs> not that I can remember 50 other sunsets, but um, it wasn't all that great. Met a really cool guy, a local guy who's out here hanging out, playing loud music. Usually we drive away from loud music, but he was playing loud music, having a good time with his girlfriend. Super <laughs> friendly. Yeah. He was always apologizing. He's like, I'm going to leave soon. I'm going to leave soon. He's saying in Spanish. Somehow I understood almost all the words he was saying. It was incredible. But he kept apologizing, saying he was going to leave soon. And uh, I was like, no, no, stay, hang out, enjoy. It's your place. We're just passing through. But he was a really, really nice guy and uh, said it was safe and secure out here. So we are camped here, woke up, and it is, uh, uh, I don't know, it's, there's moisture in the air. Haven't se have not seen moisture in the air in four months. Anyway, Guerrero Negro, where we are right now actually, is uh, it's very foggy, overcast, cold, woke yeah. up, it was cool again. Like the last time we spent the night here was like this. Yeah. And, uh, Two years ago. This will maybe be the last time we spend the night here. Not no, big, because I want to see gray whales. Not a big fan. There they are, right there. Look, there they are. What? Shut up. Made you look. I want gray whales. We skipped the gray whale stop today, this time yesterday, because um, we've we're here too late. The seasons yeah. to March. Yeah, we're it's we're here a week into April, April, and and the whales have decided they're going to go to Alaska, which is a great idea. If you're on your way to Alaska right now, planning your trip, check out the gray whales up there because they are from Baja and they know Alaska in the summertime spectacular. We know Alaska in the summertime spectacular. We got a whole season on our trip to Alaska, but that was an awful season because it was season number one. And while we're still not very fantastic with our YouTube videos, and I still don't know why we keep doing them, we have an amazing uh, season of going to Alaska. <laughs> Lots of information on our website, too, about planning your trip to Alaska. So if you want to go to Alaska this summer or any summer, go check out our website and go to our destinations page where we've got all kinds of information about traveling to Alaska, particularly in an RV. Or maybe you can travel on the back of a gray whale. That would be a fun trip. I bet you'd see all kinds of cool stuff. In any regard, the whales are gone, and we are leaving in a few short minutes as soon as our AeroPress coffee is done. Ah, I'm 
I'm sorry. Lindsay's throwing stuff around. And we're, we got a drive day today. We're going to San Felipe, God willing, the engine holds for us, which there's no reason it shouldn't. God willing, the semi trucks stay in their lane and don't take us out. God willing, there's no party cows that decide to cross the highway. I have not seen many cows on this trip. It's because they're all dead. They've all been hit. <laughs> That's the price of beef in Mexico has gone up because all the cows are getting hit by the semis in the middle of the night. Anyway, Huckleberry says it's time to go. He's got to pee really bad. So we're going to go outside and we're going to pee. Family that pees together stays together. We made it. San Felipe. We are in San Felipe. Five and a half hours. I should Google what's up. We got here in good time. And uh, we came to Victor's RV Park. It's our kind of go-to in San Felipe proper. Um, we go to the horse ranch when we're on the north side of town. Um, but we're definitely here at Victor's. We met Lily a couple years ago. She owns and runs this place and she's an awesome, awesome human being. We love getting to hang out with her, and so we're going to say hi in a little bit. And uh, we don't know if we're going to be here a night or two nights, but we yeah, are... Yeah, it's $30 a night, which is like at the top of our price range. Yeah, <laughs> beyond the top uh, of our price range. It for, just seems expensive, like... Yeah. yeah. All the campgrounds in San Felipe, thank you Americanos, gringos, are super expensive. You might as well be paying United States prices by the time you get here, because we're paying $30, and we love being here. But it's a sand lot with yeah, a uh, rusty spigot and with like you know weird shoddy looking electrical hookups. Yeah, <laughs> so we're definitely. But you know it's Mexico. But no other parks around are any better, and that's mm -hmm. that's the whole thing. We picked the one we like to go to, and Victor's is it, and we love coming here again because of Lily. If we hadn't met Lily, if she wasn't so kind, we'd probably try out other places. Yeah. But this is really this is our spot. We are going to get set up for the day, and then when it cools off a little bit, it's really hot. I'll, we'll check the weather. It's got to be in the 80s at least. Really humid. But um, we're going to run into town. We always do. We'll go to the Malacan. We'll get maybe our perhaps our last taco. Yeah. Oh, our, our last, last taco. I know. It's kind of sad to think about. But we will head down to the Malacan around sunset and enjoy some time down there, and then, mm -hmm. and then maybe take off in the morning. Yeah, we might leave. Get in the itch. Once we left Baja California, sir, it was the end for me. Yeah. It just ripped my heart out. It's a little sad. Yep. So I cried. We're actually an early, an hour or an hour. We're a week earlier than really we have to be in Phoenix, uh, and and one week to get the RV, uh, the fridge fixed. So we may have a week to kill in Arizona, southern Arizona, or maybe we can get the fridge moved up. We'll figure that out. Mm -hmm. But we are here. It is the first week of April, middle of the first, middle of the second week of April, I guess. Samana Santa is going on for sure. Every car headed south. It's like loaded down, full of tents and tarps and, and chairs people. and oh my gosh. Yeah, so everybody's headed south. In fact, we pulled over. We stopped for uh, an RV that was on the side of the road, and they were loaded to the brim with everything. Toys, and, ATVs. Yeah, I couldn't help <laughs> them out, but. What I uh, ended up saying, asking them where they headed, and they're like, oh, we're going to the Bay of Conception. I was like, Coyote Beach? Like, yeah. I was like, that, we just left there two days ago, yesterday. Yeah, we yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> That's we crazy. just left there yesterday. Wow, it doesn't look like it's nuts. It was already starting to fill in and pack out. So, anyway, we are here in San Felipe. 
it's hot. I'm going to put this down. We're going to crank on the air conditioner. We're going to be a little spoiled little brats. Get hey, used to being gringos again. We got again. electric hookup. Might as well. Might as well use it. Might as well use it. So that will be a t-shirt we'll make. <laughs> Might as well use it. And people will be like, use what? <laughs> Like it. <laughs> it's whatever it is. Whatever it is. You might if as you're well paying use it. for it, you might as well use it. <laughs> might as well use it. T shirt. Might as well use it. Alright, check in later. Well, it's that time. What time? The dinner time. Dinner. It is dinner time. We're going to walk down to the Malacan in San Felipe. You've already seen that once, twice, three times if you're true called to Wonder fans. Uh, on the way down, on the way back, first trip, on the way down. On now on the way back we're not gonna show yeah I don't think we need to nope you don't need to go with this dinner we're gonna savor these last tacos and churros it's uh, <laughs> churros. it's gonna be a sacred <laughs> sacred experience so thanks for joining we'll check you later it's that time it's leaving time it's leaving time don't look so sad we didn't take you to get tacos last night but we should have because <laughs> that was awesome Malcon was packed. It is the first, I guess, official day, Saturday, first like off day for people to celebrate the Holy Week of Semana Santa. But uh, yeah, it is. It was crazy. There were so many people there. <laughs> Tacos people. were delicious. We will put a link in the description below for that taco place. It's on I Overlander. We came across it two years ago, and that's our go-to for tacos. And churros. I got my churros. <laughs> Super stoked. Yeah, about there's that. always a churro guy, a churro stand. Well, he Somewhere knew, on the Malacan. He knew we were getting up and leaving the taco place, and he rolled up right at the perfect time. <laughs> Fresh churros, awesome, amazing. 40 they pesos, good. two US dollars for, I don't know, like 20 A churros. Big bag. Yeah. yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. So, anyway, it's time to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready for us to leave. I'm going to dump our tanks. I'm going to uh, get us unplugged so we don't drive out of the campground dragging <laughs> everything behind us because that would be a terrible way to end ball. That would be. On that note, it is time for us to leave. Thanks for being a part of this journey. We're going to take you across the border with us in the next episode. Come along because it is always a stressful time and we're going to think we're going to do things right and hopefully we get things right. But who knows? And you know how our who knows goes. So you'll see us when you see us, which is the next episode.